folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Have an amazing new product to show you. I've had it for a little while. It's got a little bit of use on it already. I'll let my store manager, Tyler, use it as well because I thought it was just so cool. So this is the heavy duty dethatcher by CMP. We've had the regular duty, I guess, dethatcher by CMP for uh, several years now and been a great seller. An awesome tool. This is kind of in the same category as a landscape rake or a pine needle, pine straw, pine needle rake. Um, but this is finding a sweet spot that I wasn't sold on this product when I first heard about it. I didn't really, I didn't know where it would fit in and it fits in right in that gap between, between the regular dethatcher and the landscape rake. Now, pine needle rakes, pine straw rakes, I don't have any of those. I've never used one of those. So this may kind of be in the same level as a pine straw rake. I'm not sure. You know, this, this kind of teeters on that line of being both safe to use on your lawn, but still be aggressive enough to use and make some noticeable change, like on a gravel driveway where you have a lot of resistance there. It can, you're going to see, we're going to show you some different applications today. It's going to, I guess, require fewer passes in my bit of experience so far on a lawn with trying to actually dethatch and get down uh, through the grass and down into the, the, the top of the dirt without causing a lot of turf damage. Okay, yet it's still able to nicely resurface. You know, you're not gonna take out potholes, you know, and, and grade those out with a rake like this, but just a general grading of your gravel driveway, man, when I use this, it worked incredibly well. You know, and then we'll find some other areas. I've, I've got some some roughed up areas for my skid steer kind of turning around. We'll, uh, we'll take it through there and, and kind of chop up those little clumps of dirt and whatever else is there and smooth that back out, but show you the versatility. And so this, the price point kind of falls in between all that stuff too, right? The regular dethatcher, the landscape rakes, it's kind of right in the middle there as well. Um, it weighs a little over a hundred pounds. All right. So a little bit more than double what the uh, regular dethatcher weighs. And, and you can see that there's some more robust framing that's going on this this uh, tube steel here and then you've got the brackets that come back and connect and tie in that second row as well so that's where the extra weight is coming from i'm still 60 inches wide okay there currently are not any wider offerings that could change in the future but as of shooting this video in the summer of 2024 there's not uh quick hitch compatible cat one all right so this is the spico E-hitch doesn't require any bushings. We don't even put any linchpins in there. So same thing with like a, um, a John Deere ballast box. It fits in there. You can slide this thing side to side, but it's gonna hit the steel up here, okay? So the pin can't go any further that way. And, and same thing the other direction. It can only, it's gonna stop there. So there's nowhere, th this just can't fall out of here, okay? I've got several hours on this. I've done this with many attachments, you know, the regular thatcher, um, some other attachments too. There's just no, there's no wiggle room. There's not enough for it to come out. So it's just hanging out in there doing its thing. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Good fit, we've got it on a Coyote CK series today, uh, but this would easily, easily work on a subcompact tractor. Again, only weighs a little over 100 pounds. That's not much of a load, all right? So a subcompact with a 1025R, the Kubota BX series, anything in that class. You don't need a lot of horsepower to pull this thing along. That's not a concern. 60 inch width is the same width as a mower deck. A lot of the mower decks for those subcompacts too. So even though the tractor is four foot wide, the mower decks are either 54 or 60 inches wide probably a couple inches wider than that when you had all the brackets and all that kind of stuff on. So it, it's matching up just fine as far as that goes. CK still covers the width. It matches up just about perfectly with the outside of the tires here. Um, you could put it on a larger tractor if you wanted to. You're just not going to cover the width. You know, you're not going to have to, you're going to have to kind of eyeball the pathway that you're on based on the attachment width versus your tractor width. So that's always a bit of a challenge in my opinion. Um, I like to, I like to keep it the same width or slightly slightly larger there for the overlap. Now, this is made in Minnesota. So it's a made in the USA product. Um, th I'm sure that there's some of these components here that are imported, but they have a factory right up there that they build these at. So this is 
this is what would be classified as made in the USA with US and imported parts. So that's got it going on for it as well. Uh, top link pin will not be included. All right, the, the two bottom pins are, but a lot of manufacturers don't include the top link pins. But if you need one, uh, we sell those or you can just transfer it from one attachment to the other and uh, use it that way as well. So you're just bolting everything together. It comes in a cardboard box from UPS. So all the long brackets going across, there's the short support brackets here and everything. So, and, uh, and the, the, the vertical support as well. So everything's just bolt together. Okay. It's, well, you know, you can see what you got going on. You're just putting a tine on, bolting it in place, repeating the process until you're done. So if you need to replace the tine, you can replace them individually. You don't have to replace like a whole row or a whole bar of them. That's not that in depth. So it's nice to get a few extras if you want to have them on hand. But to be perfectly honest, I've used our regular thatcher a lot and I have yet to replace uh, or need to replace any tines on there. So they're, they're spring tooth, right? So they, you know, they give and they're not getting a side load on them. They're just going back and forth and you can use these things forwards and backwards. Um, you gotta be semi careful with it, right? If you're, if you're kind of a wild operator and you run into a tree or a fence post or something like that, you're probably gonna break this. I mean, this is not, it's not intended to be you know, uh, treated like a box blade, right? Where you can back that into something, you're probably gonna be okay. Well, with something like this, that's not the application. It's gotta be a little bit lighter duty to still be safe on the lawns and the lighter applications that you have without wanting to cause damage there. There's a trade-off, so keep that in mind if you're gonna go this route. I do think it's worth mentioning, if you haven't watched our older video comparing the regular dethatcher versus the landscape rake, we compare those two and put them through their paces on different types of applications so that you can see what works best for you. It can be, either way, they're handy tools. They're very versatile. They can be used for a lot of applications. But, you know, based on what your needs are, what your priorities are, what your future plans are, it can steer you in the direction of one versus the other. Landscape rakes really are not great to use on a lawn though. So if using something on your turf is in your plans, then this is probably a better route, the, the HD or the standard duty. The one exception to that is maybe with gauge wheels on your landscape rake. So that could limit the damage, but if you're getting those tines down into your sod, it's gonna rip things out. So anyway, keep that in mind. Now these ship UPS ground again in a cardboard box. So there's no reason, no need to have to coordinate with a big semi truck or a freight company. They're just gonna get dropped off like an Amazon package would. So very easy and simple that way. So we're really excited. You know, this is actually, we haven't put a video out yet. We've had the, the, the product on our website for maybe three months and we've been selling a lot of these. So we've had good customer feedback on them too. I think it's just a product that makes sense and I had some reservations in the beginning, but hopefully the video footage showing you what this does in action changes your mind too, because it's pretty incredible. So no matter what you're looking for, if you want an HD to Thatcher or something else for your tractor, we can help you out. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship nationwide every day of the week. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.